All right, I'm out here late. It's a little cold out here and could be because I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops, but uh, anyway, I'm uh, putting the edge on this knife and boy, is it gonna sharpen up nice. And uh, then I'm gonna go and make the sheath. So uh, it warms up a little quicker and here, get on, sweetie. Because the sun, you know, the sun hits this end of the shop, although the sun's coming and going. And my uh, leather shop is down the end of the trailer there and the sun never gets on it. So I got a heater on there, warming it up a little bit. So by the time I finish putting the edge on here, it'll be good and warm down there. Okay, this is sold. I think I said that. This is sold. So uh, I'm just going to show you making the sheath and what it looks like the final, final finish. Well, here's the knife and here's the sheath. And because I had to flare it out up here because it's got that little finger guard there and uh, that gets in the way of these type of sheaths. That's why most, most people for knives with finger guards on them, that's why most of the time uh, the sheaths that are made for them are the, the two piece sheaths, you know, where it has a front and a back and then the belt loops up here and then a snap. And that's why, because of the finger guard. So there we go. And this is sold. I'm glad it's found a good home. And I was thinking while I was working on this, I bet you this thing, this 80 year old knife, I bet you it's had a, a an interesting life. There's no telling how many fish it's skinned or campfires it's prepared or deer or squirrel. And, uh, I'm real happy that I could save it. It's it's in, you know, great condition. It, it was out in the rain at a yard sale. And, uh, you know, judging by the leather, nobody's ever... I, I say that, but somebody at some point tried to save it. They put some tape on it and, you know, put some twine up here to fill in one of the spacers. And anyway... It's back to back to living a good life again, and a fellow that bought it has bought a few other knives from me or a couple, and uh, anyway, that's where it's going. It's going to a good home. So thanks for watching. It's been fun, and there's a a lady that has a knife that was her papa's, and I have offered to uh, clean it up for her, and she showed me she sent me some pictures of the knife, and the sheath looks savable. With some care, the sheath could uh, come back to life. And the knife, uh, I'm certain that I could uh, take it apart, clean it back up. It's got all the original parts there, and I hope she takes me up on that offer because uh, i really like to get my hands on it and take it apart and get it all cleaned up. It would be a great video. Okay, thanks for watching, y'all. Oh, yeah. What if younger was Karen than you? You're talking to me? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. And I'm getting another one, another shelf for here so I can get some of this other food up on it. Okay, that's it. I just put a little wax on that and uh, I will ship it tomorrow. I know. I sure wish I could figure out a way to get you to live inside just for the winter. I'll leave a heater on in there for you. You're getting old. And it's going to be a really bad winter coming up. And I've been feeding you for almost four years now. Then you trust me enough to come eat? You trust me enough to come inside? You're going to claw me to death if I put my hand up there, sweetie? Come on. about you the winters are brutal for a for a really old cat that living underneath this trailer see you tomorrow